They came from behind the sun, off the solar plane, cloaked by the corona. Gravity slammed them into a thousand pieces, too many for Space Command to deflect. All they could do was blast the big ones into little ones, millions of them, too many to miss. Some hit Earth like nothing since the nukes. A few hit the moon and rang like a bell. I was skimming ballistic down by Doppelmeyer just for fun. Alarms on all the nets. Meteor showers coming fast. We took shelter where we could. I had just about made the spaceport at Hamas when I got the call. It was crypto, but I knew who it was. Lunar intelligence, an oxymoron. I didn't work for them. I didn't have to go. Yeah, right. Bryce, we have a situation here. Come, let's have a talk. He didn't trust circuits. Qual would want some face. It wasn't easy watching home take the hit, not the least because we were a two-planet system and we'd get our share. They didn't say how many roids were out there. I guess they didn't know. One thing I did know, it would change everything. I picked up my ride and headed for Luna City. I was in the funny sea, 20 south, 40 west. Luna City's in the Sinus Medi, the central lake, zero zero on Earth face. I hooked into the maglev and took a ballistic launch. Traffic was light and I could glide clear to Sinus approach. With no Atmo and no near mascons, I'd fly true. It gave me time to think. I hate that. I had a distinct clientele. I did pretty well. I had what everyone wanted. Vids of Earth. Not how it is, but how it once was. Some remembered, some never knew. The clientele was very limited, like everyone in space, everyone off-planet. I was especially big among the helium miners, scraping the sea of serenity, and those on the far side, where Earth never appears in the sky. A lot of people did it. I seemed to do it better than most. After all, it was the only home planet we had. And after the nukes, everyone was a little concerned. Those that had gone, well, some had regrets. Didn't matter. There is no right of return. They'd spend their days in dreams of Earth. It paid me pretty well. I swung around the Herschel Crater Dome and rode the Prime Meridian right into Luna City. I got flight clearance through the South Tunnel. There was no traffic. It was kind of spooky. Zero Zero is dead center of Earth face and the closest place to Earth. So the capital city seems to have a romantic attachment to everybody and me. The town was deserted, the meteor alarm still in effect. Lunans sheltering underground in the lava tubes. We had laser cannons and interceptors, defense in depth. But a dome strike could cause a rather explosive outgassing, so why take a chance? Lunans spent most of their time in Luna Under anyway, so it was no big deal. I knew Qual would defy the alarm. He was where I expected, enjoying the peace and quiet. Qual looked happy to see me. That's him looking happy. I couldn't blame him. All heaven was breaking loose, ruining his plans for dinner. You heard about the asteroids? Been all over the news. Celestial mechanics? Uh, a little out of my league. God did it, don't you think? God? What do you think, a random event? A cosmic accident? Like, like life on Earth? Dice don't play God with the universe. You think it's something devious? You would. It's my job. And you're the right man for it. You jailed your mother once, as I recall. She broke the law. This is a major earth change. It impacts everything. Kind of defines a big screw-up. Why not ask who's going to get yelled at? 
base command. If they can't protect us from meteors, what the hell are they up there for? It'll change the weather. Thousands of people killed. Ten thousands. Maybe a new ice age. More pressure to get people off. The moon can't handle a whole new rush of hungry Terrans. You can't build Mars shuttles fast enough. And Luna? Minor. A solar panel plant. Palace. An outpost in the funny sea. You must have your hands full. Surprised you had time to uh, ruin my day. I don't know. There's something off center. A tangent, a bad Delta V. It was one of those codependent relationships. He thought I owed him, I thought he owed me. We'd been around and about on this a number of times. When he needed something under the radar, he'd call me. He'd appeal to my conscience. Luckily, I didn't have one. Whatever it is, I, I can't do it. Now's the time to make a killing on Earth vids. You're a reserve officer. I resigned my commission. It wasn't accepted. You'll have full dental coverage, full medical. You could replace your old head. Where would I get one as good as this? This is a major screw-up. The commissions, the studies, it'll all take time. We don't have time. I need to know what's what, and I need to know now. You get in there, winkle out something, see where it leads. If you know something, it'd be a whole lot easier if you tell me. Yeah. It would. The elevator. The North Pack elevator. The ribbon's only a few meters wide. Chances an asteroid can split it are slim. Not slim enough. Those near orbit were captured. Near the bottom, they floated down safely, all except one. Who's missing? Selene. The loony celeb? Pronounced goddess. Goddess of the moon. Oh, Jesus. No, he's from Earth. Selene? As far as I knew, she wasn't even a single person. Uh, she was more a construct, a bunch of actors all contributing to one role. When did she become a goddess? Tuesday, during lunch. Point is, people worship her, so she is one. That's all it takes? And the major megacorp, a uh, top talent agency, and... All the publicists in Cislerner space. Don't slough this off. Except for the meteors, this would be the breaking news. Some people will believe anything. Like in the middle of a Cislunar disaster, you want me for a missing persons. Tracking down a goddess, a lot of guys would like that mission. Oh, and take your Bebo. I want a running commentary. What? I turned her in. I reactivated her. I got too weird. It's not a request. Hey, boss. Oh, great. Anything else? You might need to visit Earth. There'd be a visa. An Earth visa? So I gave him a vid. A garden. On Earth. I think he liked it. That's him looking happy. Celine. She wasn't real. She couldn't be. I was chasing a loony celeb heiress. But it might get me to Earth. He didn't get to Earth. You couldn't get a visa. There was no right of return. The mothership was overloaded, jetting passengers as fast as she could. But if I played it right, I'd be going there. So for the moment, I felt like the luckiest man in the moon.